Hey there, everybody. It's Mark. How you doing? I'm here by the 60 freeway in uh, the north part of Montebello. I'm on my way to get some new glasses. I need some sunglasses. I have light blue eyes, and it's really hard for me when there's uh, a lot of sunlight. So uh, I'm going to get some new sunglasses. Be picking them up. Uh, usually, usually glasses. Uh, these are my regular bifocals. Look at that. The thing came off. This side is okay, but this side here, just put tape on there. That's okay because I just use those for like my everyday. And so if they get totally broken, then, you know, I toss them. I have another pair of glasses for if we're, if I need to go somewhere nice. Uh, anyways, let's head into 99 cents only. And then after that, I'm going to go to five below. I have to go to the post office. I had some orders from my eBay store. And so I got to ship those out today. Thank you for those uh, purchases. And then pick up my glasses, and if I have time, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to uh, Walmart, maybe Target. We'll see.
It was cool finding the spy racers for a dollar and 99 cents only. Well, they're actually 99.99. Uh, as far as five below, it had the other cars. I couldn't, I found them at Walmart before, but I was missing one. I don't remember which one. I think it was the police Camaro. Um, so I went ahead and just bought one of each again. It's all right. The only thing is they were two bucks each at five below. See, it's five below, five dollars and under. So that's the way it goes. I actually already got my glasses. You want to check them out? Actually, my sunglasses, not my glasses. Anyways, uh, you know, I told you that my light blue eye is really sensitive to bright light, especially uh, sunlight. Let me get a hold of this better. And so, uh, so now I'm not even squinting. You can't tell, but uh, I'm not even. Look up. Uh, anyways, so these are wraparounds, and they have this thick part right here. So I'm going to take care of these for a long time. And these are for like if I'm going to drive someplace or if I go to a sporting event and I'm sitting outside in the sun all day or if we go to an amusement park or go to the beach or someplace where I'm outside all the day with the glasses on, I'll use these. But if I'm just going to be just for a few minutes, eh, I don't know if I'm going to put them on. Um, let's, go, let's go check out Walmart. Walmart was a bust. Hardly anything. I, I did pick up that Dragonoid. I picked up the, I picked up the Dragonoid. It is Dragonoid, right? Yeah, Dragonoid. And I picked up that uh, Mario Kart four pack, just one. Uh, all the all those models are probably released again. Even the one that's a uh, first appearance, the one on the right, uh, Diddy Kong. Is it Diddy Kong? It is Diddy Kong on the Mach Eight. All the other three, the other three have been released already, so I'm okay with that. So now I'm uh, I'm actually in front of O'Reilly's. Is it O'Reilly's? I forgot the name. And it's right next to Target and Pico Rivera. And people are finding Disney cars. I think Disney cars. Uh, only at like these places with the, uh, the automotive and obscure places. Not at uh, certain stores. So I'm going to check out this and then head to Target. I'm going to walk. It's right there.
So I can't believe it. The Disney Cars pegs are empty. And then I start looking at uh, other areas. I head over to see if the uh, new Gravitrack sets are showing up because Ravensburger is going to have a new uh, uh, combo set for Target. It's on Target Online as well. And next thing I know, Lady shows up, starts pegging up some Disney cars. So I was really happy to get uh, this guy here. Dewey Conero. Conero. Conrad. Dewey Conrad. Really, really glad to get this one. Love these classic cars that they release in the Disney Cars line. And then she goes back, and next thing she shows up, and, uh, uh, or she leaves and she starts pegging in more cars. I couldn't believe it. I didn't show them. I didn't show them. But now you see it. Finally got my VW bus, and I have to get this one, Captain America, red, white, and blue. It's a VW bus. And plus, check out, uh, is it going to focus? I'm not sure it'll focus if I get it close. It keeps wanting to focus on me. Get out of the way. Anyways, uh, it has a specially decorated front wheel. like that very much. Yeah, I'm filming with the... Excuse me. I'm filming with the door open. Sorry for the traffic, but because uh, it's hot. It's better me to sit with the door open and film instead of running the air conditioner. I think that's noisy too. Guess what? Pico Rivera, Walmart, on the way. Let's go. Why am you looking over here? The lens is over there. Yeah, I didn't make it to Walmart yet. DD's discounts on the way. I thought I'd, I'd pop in. You never know what you're going to find there. And yes, I did pick up that set. That one right there. <laughs> I've been buying all of those sets. I haven't reviewed any yet, but someday I'll get around to reviewing them. But I wanted to, I forgot to tell you, story time, something about that VW bus, the Captain America version. Someone had said, hey, they'll... They'll trade me a bus for an item, and I don't want to say what it is. But that item sells for, I can get 25 bucks for it easy on eBay, right? It's not a new item. It's something that's been out for, it's gone 10 years already. And 
So when when they're gonna offer me the bus for an item I know that's worth twenty five dollars, you know I was just at the convention this past weekend, and you know I could get all the Captain America buses I wanted for ten dollars, twelve dollars. They were all over the place. Um, I just kind of knew from experience, right? I've been collecting since 1998, so 23 years now. I just kind of knew that the bus probably isn't going to be worth $25 that the person wanted to trade. And then I'd have to pay for shipping, too. So, sure enough, got one off the pegs. Now, let's go to Walmart. Maybe I can find another one.
Well, I'm back at home. If you're still here, thank you very much. Uh, one more break. I did visit Target, got some more items, but I didn't film it in the store. I'm just going to talk about it here. Next. You seen that I picked up this Dragonoid. Uh, at the end of at the last intro video I showed you, there was a Hot Wheels, a couple 120, 118 scale monster trucks. What was it? A uh, trash truck. And there was like a Dia de los Muertos car. I forgot the name of that uh, truck. I forgot. That that's kind of in, in, in the style of that Dia de los Muertos. Dia de los Sorry, I forgot. But anyways, this one, even though the package was crunched, it's like, I want the truck. Anytime there's a bad package, for the most part, I don't care because I collect the vehicles, right? Uh, but if it's damaged, I definitely look to see if the axles have been bent. And it does look like this one was okay. And it's like, this is a good truck. I definitely don't want to take a chance. And it looks like it's going to roll, so I, I definitely did not pass it up. Brought that home, and I checked my footage. Sure enough, the VW bus uh, did not focus when I was in the truck. So here's a look at the Captain America Volkswagen drag bus. And there's that uh, nice deco on the front wheel. I'm sure you're like me. You see these, these four all the time. Uh, but you don't see that one. That's because this is the king. <laughs> That's the king casting right there. Definitely Mattel's cash cow. They'll sell every one and for the longest time they were not even using it for retail releases. Here we have police coming for emergency vehicles. Now I'm like, I bought two. I'm going to keep one in the package. Uh, I think I told you. If not, I might have snipped it out. Um, but anyways, when the lady was pegging it, see this is the one I'm going to wind up opening. The lady was pegging it. I took the first one, and there's some one behind me. I gave him one, and then I took the, the, the third one. There are three in a case. So it's not like they're rare. So if you don't find one, do like me. You just wait. Hopefully you run into it after that Walmart. I went up to the Target because I was thinking back to the Target and Pico because I thought if she's pegging, I say she because it was one girl that was doing the aisle. There was really several women. If she's pegging stuff, if she's, uh, you know, doing the pallet, they might put out some new stuff. So I went back, and sure enough, when I walked in, I'm halfway to the back section. There's a shopping cart, and the shopping cart has three, three of these in the cart. No, five. Uh, four or five. Uh, but there was two of these. Uh, it didn't have all of them. So it's like, oh, no, I want these. So after I bought those in Target Pico, I got to head back to... Uh, Target Commerce, because that's closer to my house. It's a smaller store, um, but it's, it's not out of the way, heading back home. Sure enough, they had the other models. Now, Ham was available in a single before, as far as this one here. Uh, I'm, I don't remember this one for sure. It might have been in a two-pack. Let's see, Buzz Lightyear. It might have been in a two-pack with Woody. Had to pick it up. Now, see, if I have the two-pack, now I have the singles, I can let the two-pack go. So that's something that I would put on, in my eBay store. Stuff I find in the stores, I, I'm not hunting in stores to put stuff on eBay. You know, I just have other things to do. It's not, it's not what I do. If people do that, that's fine. It's not what I do. But these two, these are uh, Monsters, Inc., right? So I think that these might have been a two-pack previously. So now that I got singles, you know, if I want to let the two-pack go, I can because I got singles. And then I can op I have a uh, hey it's a short bus I uh, <laughs> put all the singles from my collection and then if I want one I still have one in the package if I want to display it makes it look kind of yellowish up there but it's a green Mike Wazowski and of course you know Sully this looks like it's a three wheeler so it's not gonna roll well yep three wheel three wheeler and oh how did this one did I show this one first. I think I showed it first. Anyways, these two, I believe, were a, a two-pack because the two-pack was called Flick and Flea. And there's Flick and Flea. Flea's a Volkswagen bug. And this was from the movie not, Ants? I forget. Flick and Flea. I think it was from the movie Ants. My memory's not good with that. My daughter, she knows that stuff instantly. That's her uh, expertise. Me, I just like to collect the cars. I spent the whole afternoon hunting, and normally when I do that, I'll film in the stores, and I kind of like make individual videos focused on certain topics. This way people can click the one that they want. Uh, this time, 
uh, you know, I just decided to make it uh, a voyage. You can come along with me for the ride. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.